Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, if you are Wendy Williams, baby, there is a PR campaign out there to destroy you. Okay, now here's the thing. Wendy Williams was out. There's all these reports in paid six of all places saying that Wendy was spotted out saying she wanted to get drunk and she was getting drunk. And I was like, wait, what? Because Wendy just got out of rehab. She seems on the up and narrow. She was able to cut her near do well ex uh kevin hunter and sharina out the picture so i was really surprised when i was like wait a second how did this all go to waste everybody said that she was doing better even her hate and brother came out the woodworks to be like well wendy might be doing better but she really needs to come and spend time with her father right to which i say y'all the reason she got half those issues and kevin's the other reason seems like all the men in her life are toxic i don't know the word is out on the women however right That page six thing really got me confused because I was like, I swore Wendy was doing better until I remembered the page six. Every single time when there was something about the conservatorship with Wendy, page six was right there adding fuel to the fire putting 20 on 10 as a matter of fact it seems like well at least from my point of view it seemed like wells fargo was using paid six as a way to throw dirt on wendy's name even though a lot of stuff came out to be not true so much so that the conservatorship that they were trying to make permanent it became temporary now it keeps getting renewed every few days every few months but it was temporary and every single time it gets renewed all of a sudden all these things pop up all over page six daily mail all the media outlets to be like oh my god wendy's doing worse than ever but when he she's not getting up for the not conservatorship the guardianship to be renewed all of a sudden wendy's cool and we don't need to worry about it and the guardianship sees nothing to worry about now why is that important keep that in mind as we read this report because listen to this mess y'all and listen there is a plot twist but i want to get y'all opinion on it okay they are saying that wendy williams was running around talking about uh she was drinking Yes, this is directly in page six. Wendy Williams drinking alcohol again to celebrate her new lease on life. Listen to this. Wendy Williams has begun imbibing again despite a trip to rehab last summer because she's celebrating a new lease on life, her rep tells page six exclusively. Wendy has spent most of her life in the public eye, and when she's out, she likes to acknowledge her fans, okay? More specifically, the former daytime talk show host without celebrating the new things in her life, which includes several projects such as a podcast and a potential new series, according to the publicist. She is happy and wanted to celebrate as she has a new lease on life. Um, adding that William stopped by Midtown Gay Bar, the townhouse, because she loves her fans and fully supports the LGBTQ community, which is a big part of her fan base. Okay, now... Do you see what they just did in that paragraph? They literally tried to make it seem like Wendy Williams' publicist confirmed that Wendy was out drinking. When all she said was, they said Wendy was out drinking. And then the publicist said, no, Wendy was out last night celebrating her new lease on life. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? But it goes on. It goes on. Because listen to this mess. As page six exclusively reported Monday, a lonely Wendy Williams. Okay, how do they know Wendy is lonely? And let's be real, all right? We like to b- make fun of Wendy's heavy feet. I mean, listen, she did all that time with Hot Topics. She can dish it and she can take it. We like to make fun of Wendy's heavy feet and her little bird legs she always got in the booty shorts, right? You know, she's still doing it. And I think she is doing it. She looks cute, baby. Aging is a new sexy. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Aging is the new sexy. Anti-ageism, fighting, what, what, that's all a big con to get more money. Plastic surgery, aging is hot AF as, now, as of now, right? But back to the Wendy, right? As much as people like to clown Wendy, Wendy Williams is a millionaire risk. William Williams got fame. She got fortune. Wendy Williams could find a man to rub up and kiss up of honor. Rub up and kiss up and honor. Need somebody I can come to? Kiss up and rub up and phone ya. I'm trying to cite Beyonce lyrics, but you know, I'm like, all night. Anyway, Wendy can find somebody to kiss up and rub up 
on her. The fact that people are acting like she can't, please get a life. Honestly, get get the life. However, so anyway, they started putting 20 on 10 because you know they need to trade, uh, you know, do Wendy. It's like this recluse. It's like looking for love in all the wrong places. Anyway, Monday, a lonely Wendy Williams was spotted drinking at Fresco by Scotto, where she was overheard telling her group that she was determined to get drunk. She kept saying she wanted to get drunk tonight, a diner told us the star's night out in the town. She wasn't hiding her drinking, the patron added. Following a dinner that included a margarita pizza, you see how they tried to put like, you know, margarita and pizza, Wendy and her pals made their way to the, uh, to the cocktail lounge where the Emmy nominee asked the doorman, do you watch the Wendy Williams show? Because I'm Wendy Williams. They said it was so odd because obviously people know who she is. A second source told us of the interaction. Despite any oddities, we're, we're told that Wendy was a hit once she walked into the bar. She posed for a lot of pictures with all these gay men. Um, page six, Bruce, the news, blah, 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 blah. Listen, let me tell y'all something why I'm actually side-eyeing this and thinking they're putting 20 on 10. You guys, what's the most glaring thing about this story? Yeah, I know, Wendy's drinking. At first it got me, I'm like, oh my God, and I was so concerned, right? But what is the biggest sign that this is all BS that they're saying? Think about it. You were in Scotto, then you went to Cocktail Lounge, you kept saying that you wanted to get drunk and everybody heard it and people were saying, so what's the thing that's striking you as odd? Anyone? Anyone that's a drunk Wendy Williams out on the town? Anyone? I'll tell you what's odd. There's not one MF in picture to prove any of this. Not a blurry shot, not a side shot, not a shot of her entering, not a shot of her leaving. The people that spoke to page six knew enough to contact page six and spill this tea. If Wendy was getting drunk, if Wendy was drinking, if Wendy was acting a fool, even if Wendy was posing for pictures with fans, why is there not one photo of Wendy with a fan? One photo of Wendy with the person that was spilling tea on her. Not one photo of Wendy drinking. Not one photo of Wendy acting a fool. Not one photo of Wendy being carried out anywhere, which way, who, or how. Why? It's almost like it didn't happen. It's almost like they're trying to float fake stories about how Wendy's this and Wendy's out of control and Wendy needs this. And they're trying to float these fake stories because if they float these fake stories, well, then baby, Wendy can stay in the guardianship forever. Every time it's up, time to come up, you know, the judge, the people in charge, they're reading these and they're just like, well, hold on, I just read, I don't know. And it clouds the judgment. The fact that page six would put this mess out with sources that will not be named, that do not have any pictures, that do not have any care in the world, that do not have any proof in a situation where it'd be so easy to get a sneak a picture, ask for a picture, get video. Even Wendy saying to the bouncers, I'm Wendy Williams, don't you know who I am? Don't y'all know New York City bouncers, especially if you black going into the club, they already don't want to let you in. So you got to be either extra beautiful or extra famous. Let's be real. But honestly, y'all, keep an eye out on this space. The guardianship up is up for a renewal. And now there's all these BS stories about how they saw, I heard from a friend out of friend that Wendy was a 10 out of 10 but no proof at all. I call BS on the story. There are still people out there trying to destroy her. Networks are petty and vindictive. They're mad that Wendy got away and got the last laugh. Kevin Hunter is still bitter and resentful. He's on that bus stop with Sharina, right? And that damn baby crying in the roller in a stroller. I didn't mean to say T-baby about their baby, but you know what I'm saying. And a baby crying in the stroller, right? Still a lot of people that are mad that at the end of the day, as much as they thought they made Wendy, as much as they thought they controlled Wendy, as much as they thought they owned Wendy, Wendy, through everything she's been through, still finds a way to rise up. Y'all, listen, until I see some pictures, some video, a fan photo, something, man, please get the H-E double hockey sticks out of here with that BS. Y'all, but let me know what you think. You think there's truth to this? I don't Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye.